Hey guys, I'm back and this time I'm looking for clever ways to store filament without breaking the budget. And I found these cereal storage containers on Amazon. I decided to give them a try and I'm really liking them. I'll tell you all about it. Are you ready? Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Paul. This is my channel where nerdy is cool. I'm all about 3D printing props. Um, I'm, a, I'm a licensed private pilot. I'm into flight sims, all kinds of stuff. Um, this is also where I wear my hat because I have bright studio lights and otherwise you would just get the reflection of my bright shiny head. So if you were wondering, that's why. So if you're not a subscriber and 95% of you aren't, <laughs> you should hit the button down below so you see my videos. So that said, this time around, we're trying to protect and store filament properly. One of the biggest issues I have down here at the house is I have the lab down here in the basement and the humidity level is good, but I have a lot of materials that many years ago, uh, you know, PLA I've just left out. And the boxes that these guys come in are just thin, so that reusing them is just not, just not wise to do. Uh, and in the past, what I've done is I've done a lot of baggies or I've tried to be really careful with the plastic bags. These are vacuum packed in. And what I'll do is I'll put them back in there with a desiccant and, and seal it up. But what's happened over time is my cat, particularly Miss Molly a favorite of my YouTube channel and Instagram feed. But uh, what's happened, and I'll show you here in photos, she likes to come down here and find something to chew on. And unfortunately, many times that's been the very bags I'm using to store my filaments. So, a couple of things. So I decided this year, it's 2021, we're starting a new year. I invested in a, uh, a Print and Dry Pro filament dryer and I received the Print and Dry Pro. I've got the large chamber and I'm waiting for the additional chamber uh, to show up for Matter Hackers. Here's a video if it's all stacked up. And also, another clip here, you'll see the guilty party, Miss Molly. Uh -huh. She gets into everything. I mean, that's, that's, that's fine. I mean, hey, I have, I have three cats, it's a small house they're gonna be everywhere, that's fine. So what I'm looking to do, and that's why I went searching for these cereal storage containers, is a inexpensive way to store my materials and not take up a lot of space and, well, just lots of ideas anyway. So I'll stop there. So I went searching on Amazon and I did find some containers that looked like they would fit the bill. And I looked at the measurements and I measured my filament spools and on average, basically most of my filament spools are between two and a half and three inches wide. And this container happens to be four inches wide. The only catch with this brand containers is that there's a grip here, so it, 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 there's a taper on the inside. So I was really curious to see if my regular size spools, like my hash box and color fab and other stuff, like the one kilogram spools, would fit inside this. Uh, I was also very curious to see if they would fit all the way to the bottom, because one thought I had, as you can see here with all these guys here, I was thinking maybe what I could do, I've got the, uh, filament uh, spool holders, I've got the ball bearings, and I thought, well, maybe what I can do is I can put the ball bearings down here, and if I wanted to, at some point, feed the material uh, directly out of this container. And it's a, it's a big maybe, but I'm thinking, in hindsight now, probably not. I just want to be able to get these filaments stored. Uh, I want to be able to use my filament dryer so that I can dry these materials. When they're dry, put them in here. Uh, I invested in a bunch of the uh, uh, desiccants. These are the uh, 10 grams, a 30 pack, or like 10 bucks on Amazon. So my thought now, or my process anyway, will be once I have new or dried uh, filament, I'll put it inside the container and throw some desiccant in there. And as you can see, this guy is, uh, there's a nice big gasket here. You push them into place. There's two snaps here, two there, and it's in. Now this particular one right here, you can see is touching all the way to the bottom. This is one of my many Ultimaker spools and they're 750 grams. So they do use a smaller spool. Uh, I also have, let me get this out of the way. I have other ones. This for example is a Color Fab uh, PLA and this does make it all the way to the bottom. So if you were thinking of using, for example, you know, some sort of filament spool roller or something on the bottom, 
It looks like you got room for it. The Due to the taper and the way the inside of the container is, you may want to have one that has a slider or an adjustment. If you just put two of these guys side by side, they'll eventually keel inward, but there's potential depending on what you're looking to do. So that's it for this time. Let me know what you think of my latest find. I think this is kind of cool. It's fairly inexpensive. Um, there'll be links down below if you're interested in getting these um, container sets. I'll also give you a link for the desiccant if you're curious about that and want to follow my lead there. And as always, I invite you guys to check me out on social media, uh, where Nerdy is Cool is on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course the website where nerdyiscool.com. I also have a web forum. I should plug that more often. It's 3dprintingforum.us. I've had that website going since 2016. A lot of great um, conversations going on in there. So if you're not into social media or if you like web forums, go check it out. So that's it for this time. I thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for your comments ahead of time. And as always, remember, this is where nerdy is cool. I'm usually better than this. This chair valve is leaking. I am sitting on the floor literally. Height and uh, and like I said, the width is already there. Boy, I stumbled over that one. Da -da -da, let's see if I can pick that up. These cereal box containers. That was kind of loud. Sorry. And I, th I thought, I think, something like that. The blooper reel will be full this time. Ah, uh, more cats. Wonderful.